Transformers Prime. Uh, this is called One Shall Rise Part 3. And look, I can't believe we went through this that quick. Like, holy crap. This, okay, overall, how I feel about this show, I love it. I really do. You know, you guys were definitely right about the show. It's definitely better than the movies. Far, yeah, far way better than the movies. Let's just say, let's just get that out the way first. I just, you know, I really had a good time with the show with you guys. You know, you guys really engaged with it. You guys are really excited about it. You guys were like, man, this is a, you know, you, man, you, I can't wait till you see the next you know, episode. You guys are talking about it. You know, of course, you know, you guys, you guys are really good at not giving spoilers. Most of you, most of you guys, like 99% of you guys, so at least the people I, you know, the fan base, you know, we, you know, we've grown, we've grown a lot, you know, over the years, you know, don't really put too many spoilers out, which I'm, you know, grateful for, and I appreciate you guys not doing that. It was a really good show, you know, it was a really good, you know, good season, you know, for the first part, you know, so far it's a really good show, you know, this is a really good season, I enjoyed it a lot, I'm attached to pretty much all the characters on this, you know, it's just, it did a really good job establishing establishing the the characters and you know the storyline and everything uh, the last we'll do a quick brief in the last episode the last episode was just amazing i wasn't expecting uh megatron to work with optimus you know he gave he put his hand out literally put his hand out to say hey let's just work together to uh destroy unicron which he's a badass as well i like you know i like his character a lot he made unicron really made megatron feel like starscream i'm sorry i'm putting that out there right now he really made him feel that type of way you know, and seeing his, you can see in his face how, you know, like, damn, this is how Starscream feels. Crap, I've been treating him like crap. See, and this is another thing. I'm wondering where Starscream is. We haven't seen him yet. We have not seen him yet. So I'm just wondering if we're going to see him for this episode or maybe, obviously, we're obviously going to see him next season, if that, hopefully. But let's just check out this last episode for uh, season one for Transformers Prime. Just just can't wait to see it, guys. So for you guys, let's check this episode out. 60 volcanoes are erupting worldwide. And downtown Honolulu is under six inches of snow. Jeez. Continue to devise that hurricane. Connecting these unprecedented natural disasters with a planetary alignment which... I can't just sit on my hands while the world spins out of control. And what exactly is it that you intend to do? Anything. Hook up with my boys at the Pentagon. Figure out a way to bury that monster for good. But with Optimus and Megatron together again. Whoa. W wait, again? Megatron was an Autobot? Optimus was a con? No, on either count. There was a time, back on Cybertron, in the twilight they hours were of the Golden Age, point. when Optimus and Megatron were not sworn enemies. That's crazy. Do you recall when I mentioned that Optimus wasn't always a prime? Well, he wasn't always Optimus, either. He was oh. once a clerk named Orion Pax. Orion but Pax? But as he learned more about Cybertron's past, he grew increasingly concerned about the present corruption in high places, Megatronus. Megatronus vowed to challenge Cybertron's leadership and demand that all Cybertronians be treated as equals. It was here that he began to reveal his true colors, proclaiming the need to overthrow the old guard with force. But Orion did not believe in violence as a means of achieving justice. Here, so for the first time Megatron since wanted Cybertron's to become a prime. Age, stood someone worthy of being a prime. But that honor could only truly be achieved by earning the legendary Matrix of Leadership. He got the Matrix from Cybertron's core, and now he's gonna give it to Earth's? What's to stop Megatron from just claiming the Matrix for himself this time around? Only his greater desire to save this planet so that he may in turn conquer it. <sighs> what? Find me. Just woozy. The Dark Energon. It's starting to affect him. Steady as you go, Bulk. He's preparing to expel us. What the heck? What are those things? Oh. As we are within Unicron's body, it stands to reason they are some sort of antibody. Whoa! Damn! Ooh, must be happy. Let me go. I'll only take you down with me. No, we ain't letting you go. This is so cool. Ooh, look at that shot. See that? Just let go, kid. Vulcan! Damn! Gotcha. So strong. No. 
guy is. This is very cool. No! The crown spark lies just beyond. How do we get inside? By fooling Unicron's defenses into believing we're not a threat. We gotta fight. They gotta fight each other. Maybe? Autobots, I will need you to keep our attackers at bay for as long as you can. Wow. Optimus, swiftly. Ooh. Destroy the prime. I command you. He's resisting. Megatron is commanded by no one. <laughs> He's never gonna be commanded by anyone. Wow. Matrix of leadership, I call upon you. Wow, look at that thing. You cannot defeat me, disciple of Pylos. I have transcended physical being. All upon this world shall fall into chaos. Not while I still function, Unicron. Or of the Matrix will light our darkest hour. No! Oh my god. Jeez. There they go, they're dead. Wow. That was cool. Do you think? I do. But what's Megatron gonna do? Teamwork. <laughs> Come on, Megatron, don't do that. Where are we, Megatronus? Don't you remember, old friend? Uh, what? Are you okay? Why did he call me that? No! What did you do to Stop! Him? Who are they? Our mortal enemies! We're outnumbered. Go. I'll cover you. Bastard! Bastard! I can't. Lost his memory? Or is he... He, he better not be... Is he playing? I was worried, Volk. <sighs> you all right, B? And Optimus, is he... Dead? No. But he looked right at us without recognizing us. Didn't even know his own name. Optimus surrendered the Matrix of Leadership. He lost more than the collective wisdom of the Prime. He lost his own memories. Lord Megatron. He got him on his team. At ease, Breakdown. That is no way to welcome a long lost comrade. Orion Pax is one of us. So we're going by Oranin now. You know, this is not Optimus, this is Oranin. This is holy crap. This so since he surrendered the Matrix, like you know, um, Ratchet said, he lost his memory. I was like, like what? I didn't know he, I I didn't know you could lose that as well. I didn't know he was I thought you. I thought he would just lose, lost the wisdom of the primes, but why would he lose the memory of like everyone else? Megatron brought him back because he, he knew there was an opportunity because he knows how powerful uh, Optimus really is, and you know brings, he brings him back because he's like, okay, he lost his memory. I could you know make him uh, a Decepticon now, and that's what you know he's gonna become because he lost his memory. So he doesn't know what he's doing. He doesn't know. You know, he only knows Megatron as, you know, his old name. Well, Unicron got killed, you know, or, you know, destroyed. You know, he's gone. He's history. Uh, but what did, what does uh, the the Autobots have to do to get, you know, Mega, uh, not Mega, uh, Optimus' memory back? 
what do they have to do? Do they have to find another matrix? Is there another matrix that exists? Or I'm not sure what they're going to do. So obviously season two is going to be about, you know, uh, Optimus with, you know, Megatron, you know, and, you know, Optimus is not Optimus anymore. He's over. Orion, or ran in now so that's just crazy so that that means he could possibly fight his old teammates too in ne the next season so that's probably gonna happen right there and Soundwave was a badass you know taking down a Ragnet like that you know putting her in her place like don't mess with me like because he's been there since the beginning since we saw the backstory he's been there he's been with uh Megatron for so long like that long that's pretty crazy i'm just looking forward to checking out season two guys you know i just can't wait to see i just it just sucks that netflix is taking this off i don't know why it's like why now but we got other sources to you know look at so which is you know thank you guys for uh sending those links to me so we can be able to continue the series this is a really good uh season i enjoyed it very much i'm glad i watched i'm glad i'm watching this with you guys i hope you guys are enjoying the reactions you know that you know uh, now I'm watching these, you know, it's just it's just a cool. It's just a really cool show basically It really is guys, please post your comments down below Tell me you guys think about this last episode for season one for Transformers Prime If you guys enjoy this reaction, don't forget to thumbs up the video If you guys are new around here, don't forget to subscribe button and guys, please check out the patreon page The full episode will be on there guys stay focused stay motivated. I'll see you guys in season two